So how many, how many sides does this piece of paper have? It's got two sides, right? I mean, there's, it folds. I don't mean all the folds. But as the big old piece of paper, it's got one side and it's got two sides. What if I told you I have a thing that is a it's cardboard, it's not really paper, but it has four sides on it. Would you believe me? It has four sides on it. This is it. And it's got four dots on this side. It has one dot on this side. It has six dots on this side. And it has three dots on that side. Want to see that again? <laughs> it has four dots on that side, one dot on this side, six dots on this side, and three dots on that side. <laughs> kind of wonder how you do that. It took me a long time to figure that out. I'm going to show them, and I'm covering one up. So it's, there's three dots on this side, four dots on that side, one dot on that side, and six dots on that side. And it's just a card that has dots like that, and you learn to cover them up. I know. But if you, if you cover one, you might think, which I think maybe you all thought this, that I was covering up a dot. So it just kind of fooled you. But, so I saw a magician do this once, and somehow he showed or I found out how he did it. But it took me a long time to do it smoothly and in a way that I could fool people. Because if I just took this out and showed it to you, and then I tried to do that, you probably wouldn't have been fooled. You'd have known right away what it was I was doing. So I had to practice this a lot to get good at it. And I bet you could practice a lot and get good at it too. And you could even show that to some of your friends and watch them go, <gasps> before they do it. Um, this is a reminder that um, a lot of things that we do as people of faith, as Christians, take practice in order to get good at it. And the thing we've been talking about the last few weeks is prayer. And prayer is that sort of thing that you have to practice a lot. One, to be comfortable with it and to learn to trust it and to learn to listen in it. And it's not something that uh, necessarily comes easy for people. So it might be hard for you uh, being a person of prayer or learning to pray or being comfortable praying. Uh, but we gather together regularly in worship and in other places and we learn to do that together. So um, I want to just remind you to pray the Lord's Prayer every day this week. Every day this week. You can pray it with your family. You can uh, pray it any time. Just find a time to pray the Lord's Prayer. And if you don't know it, um, you, can, um, you can Google it <laughs> and, and do it. Y'all join a hand and pray with me. Say, say, dear God, we love you. We trust you. We want to love you more. We want to trust you more. Teach us about who you are and help us to pray, not just the Lord's Prayer, but all kinds of prayer. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you all. Mr. Carolyn's got some pops for you, if you want.